Holcomb High School. Today is Tuesday, February 11th, 2020. Um, for breakfast today, we have biscuits and gravy, and for second chance breakfast is mini bagels. For lunch, we have taco soup with tortilla chips or chicken and cheese taquitos. Um, the other options are salad and there's fruit and milk going with that bad boy. So um, have a great lunch today. Now we have Jackson here with the announcements. All right, for the announcements, there will be a... Today for our announcements, there will be a swim meeting during seminar and a K-Club meeting during advisory. There will also be bowling in Dodge City and basketball in Lakin. Yes, be sure to go out there and support your Holcomb Longhorns. And now, Trey Cox with the weather. So, we apologize. At the time of recording, Trey is not able to make it because we are in a lockdown. But um, that doesn't mean today isn't going to be a beautiful, mostly sunny day with a high of 39 and a low of 21. Back to you, Derek. Thank you, Trey. And now we have reporter Johnny Lozano for a segment on good news stories for the day. Man, now time for some positive news. Our first topic is a dog made headlines in the news for saving 900 of their owner's sheep during the Australian bushfires. Well. All right, for our second topic, new studies are pointing towards rain being an effective source of renewable energy. One generator can briefly power 100 LED bulbs with a single drop. Our third topic, a man in Texas found a VCR of a baby's first steps and was able to track down the kid's family through the internet. Thank you, Johnny. <clears throat> and now we have Eric Almaraz and Abel Granados for a trivia question of the day. The answer of today's trivia will be in tomorrow's news at the end. And now time for trivia. Last Sunday we had the Oscars. And for our question for you today, which picture had won the most awards? Thank you, Abel and Eric. That's all we have time for today. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in today, and be sure to tune in tomorrow for another special episode of Longhorn News. Good night. <laughs>